modern fashion designers this is modern woman apparel I want to say a very big thank you to all who have subscribed to this channel and if you're just joining us this is a new channel please join us by clicking on the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video thank you in today's class i'll be showing you how to draft a fitted trouser with a perfect crotch so if you have been having problems with your trouser drafting worry no more because after this class all your trouser issues are going to be solved so for this class you'll be needing your actual waist measurement your waist to your hip length your hip circumference your waist to your knee length your knee circumference your waist to your ankle length your ankle circumference or if you want your trouser to get you the floor length please feel free to measure your floor length or the standard for that is add two inches to your ankle length so to start you rule your starting line so these two sides as my starting line for this side and this for the upper side so i'm going to take this starting line here as the waist line so from the waist line I'm going to get my crush depth. So the crush depth here, I'm going to be making use of is 10.5. How did I get the crush depth as 10.5? Divide your waist, sorry, your hip circumference by four. So mine is 42. 42 divided by four gave me 10.5 inches. So this 10.5 inches, I'm going to come down from the waistline to 10.5 inches. like so and i'm going to rule a straight line to meet the points so whatever you have as your hip circumference divided by four that will give you your crotch depth so next is to get my hip line i didn't measure my hip line if you do not measure your hip line that is okay what you do is come up from your crotch depth by two inches this is standard from your crotch depth go up by two inches so from your crotch depth go up by two inches so this is my hip line this is the crotch depth So I'm going to square this up by same 10.5 inches. So the 10.5 inches I got by dividing my hip my hip circumference by four. I'm going to impute the 10.5 on the crotch from the crotch to the hip and to the waistline, like so. Then I'm going to take a ruler and square it up. like so now i'm going to be highlighting these lines with my marker pen to make the markings more visible having done that i'm going to impute my knee and my ankle length so from my waistline to my knee is 22 inches 22 so my ankle is um 36 36 i'm going to be extending this to the floor length my floor length is um 38 so from your ankle just add two inches and that will make it your floor length this is standard so i'm going to square I'm going to rule a straight line like so So if your trouser is not getting to the floor length, please stop at your ankle length. So this is the floor. Ankle. And this is the knee line here. Length. If you forgot to take the knee length of your client, what you do is measure from your crotch depth line 
to your ankle measurement please not to the floor length even if the trouser is getting to the floor length please indicate where the ankle length is so measure from your crotch depth to the ankle length then divide whatever you have by two equal halves mark a point there and from that point go up by one and a half inches so this is it so after that we're going to get the crotch extension so the crotch extension i'm going to be making use of is 2.1 inches so how did i get this 2.1 inches divide your hip circumference by 20 for the front crotch extension so my hip circumference is 42 42 divided by 20 i got 2.1 so i'm going to extend this line here by 2.1 inches so 2.1 from here so this becomes my crotch depth extension my crotch extension for the front please the front and the back are not the same so for the front divide your hip circumference by 20 whatever it gives you is your crotch extension for the front so having done that you come to the hip line here go out by 0 0.2 five inches and with your curve rule connect from this crotch extension meeting this 0 0.25 here like so So this is it. Now is for us to get the waist circumference. So this is the center front of this trouser. Why this is the side front? Remember for the for the trouser, this is this place is the center front. This place is the side front. Don't I know it's going to be a little bit confusing because for your skirt, this place is the center front. But for the trouser, this place is the center front. So we are going to take our waist measurement from this center front of the trouser so the waist measurement i'm working with is um 33 33 i'm going to divide it by four which will give me 8.25 this is 8.25 and because this trouser is going to have a dart of one inch i'm going to impute that one inch here and from this point here i'm going to connect to the hip line like so so this is it next is to impute the waist that so to impute your waist that what you do is measure what you have here and divide it into two equal halves make a point there come down by 4.5 inches this is standard for front that for your trouser so Draw a straight line there, like so. Now, because the dash we're making use of is one inch, we're going to share this one inch into by two. So we put half here and another the other half here. I'm going to connect like so. Next is come to this upper part here to your side front. Remember, this is the side front. Go up by half inch, like so. Come to this center front, come down by half inch, like so, and connect. This will help your trouser to have a perfect fit. So having, so having done the upper part, we're going to go to the down part. So coming to the down part, we're going to get a crease line. So the crease line, to get your crease line, come to this crotch depth line here. Whatever you have here, from this crotch line to the crotch extension, divide it by two equal halves. 
this is it measure what you have here after dividing it into two equal halves i have 6.25 so this 2.6.25 i'm going to come to the knee line and impute 6.25 come to the length of this trouser and also impute 6.25 so i'm going to connect with a straight line meeting all the points so this now becomes the crease line for for this front so for the new line my new circumference is um 16 16 divided by 2 is 8 so this 8 i'm going to share it into two equal halves and put one side here one part here so 8 divided by 2 is four i'm going to put four here come to this place and put four so go to the ankle length or to the floor length the floor length the ankle length i'm working with is um 12 12 divided by 2 is 6 so this is i'm going to share it into two parts one part here which is three and the other part here which is three so having done that i'll connect this length here this point here to the new and to the crotch extension like so so if you're stopping at the ankle line know that you're going to stop your measurement here so having connected from the floor length to from the length of this trouser to the new what i would do is also to connect from the new to this crotch depth line here like so also to this part like so and guys this is all for the front part of this pattern thank you for watching to this point please if you haven't subscribed your subscription is highly needed please encourage me by subscribing this is a new channel remember subscription is totally free all you need to do is just to click on the subscribe button and that is all so thank you so much we'll go over to the back pattern to start the back part what you do is to duplicate whatever you have in this front pattern to another pattern so excluding this just duplicate it up to this straight line here leave this place here this slant line here I'm going to leave it so you see just on that straight line you're going to stop so i've duplicated the front pattern to another pattern leaving about three inches space on this side and on the upper part so to start the back pattern i'm going to use another color of marker pen so that you won't be confused so first and first is to come to this come to this crotch line here on this place go in by one inch from this line here you're going to go in by one inch like so then come to the waistline go in by two inches like so and connect with a straight line like so, so you come to this waistline go up by two inches so these two inches is not constant if you are working with a hip of below 40 you go up by 1.5 inches and if you're working with a hip measurement of let's say above 45 you can go up by more than two inches can go up by 2.5 inches so i'm going to slant this line to meet these two inches here now from these two inches this is the waistline here I'm going to extend all these lines like so and also on the crotch line i'm going to extend it further So from this waistline here, I'm going to 
measure what I have here. What I have here is 9.25. Remember, 8.25 plus 1 inch for that. That is 9.25. So I'm going to slant it in a way that it will touch here, come from this place to this waistline here. Look at it, 9.25 here. So before I would draw the straight line, what I would do is to come up here on this waistline by half inch. Like so. And connect. Like so. So I'll come to the hip line. Starting from this line here. I'll measure my hip line. My hip line is um my hip measurement is um 42 divided by 4. That is uh, 10.5 inches. So 10.5 inches from this 10.5 inches i'm going to connect it to this point here so come to the crotch line and also measure 10.5 inches like so whatever you have as your hip divided by four that is what you measure from here measure it also from this place get the same thing so now we we'll come to the crotch extension the crotch extension is not going to start from this line this is for the front the crotch extension for the back is going to start from this line and remember for the front we say to get your crotch extension you're going to divide your hip circumference by 20 but for the back you're going to divide your hip circumference by 10. my hip circumference is 42 42 divided by 10 gives me 4.2 inches so i'm going to start from this line here to measure 4.2 inches and this is it here so the same thing we did for this place come out by 0 0.25 from here 0 0.25 and connect like so you are connecting from this to this line it must not necessarily meet this point here So this is it. So this is it for the back crotch extension. Now we are going to impute the waist that remember get whatever you have here, share it into two equal parts. This is 9.25 um into two equal parts, like so. So I'm going to take what I have here. 9.25. So the remember I said um the waist that for the front is 4.5 but for the back you're going to do 5.5 inches so this is 5.5 inches here come here half inch on both sides half inch here half inch here like so this is for that so coming to the knee line coming to the knee line now what you're going to do is to come to this place here add half inch we are going to maintain same crease line so add half inch to whatever you have here this is half here also come to this place and add half inch like so then you connect to meet this point here to the crotch line okay go to the trouser length also add half inch to here to this place half inch to this place and connect 
So guys, this is all for the back part. And while cutting, you're going to cut only the red lines. Like so, for the back. Like so. All the red lines. I'm going to cut all the red lines. For the back. The red lines only. For the back. So guys, if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please and please and please, please hit on the subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell so that whenever I make a new upload, you'll be notified. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to like this video, comment on it, share it so that others can benefit as well. And if you want to see the cutting and the sewing tutorial, Tell me on the comment section. Put it down on the comment section so I will know. Whatever style you want me to illustrate, please tell me on the comment section. And I will be glad to illustrate the style for you. So thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.